so. All right, um, so the project that I'm presenting here is an investigation of Chicago and North Shore rescue squ skills and swim to survive community utilization and experience. I can rescue. And our objectives are twofold. First, we're going to do an assessment of the impact of Chicago Park District trainings that are happening in the community. We're going to be looking at knowledge and skills for those who attend the trainings, as well as broadly within the community. And we're going to see recognizing there is a lot factoring in there outside of the training, if there's any change in distressed swimmer events or rescues that are occurring along the parks and beaches um, over the course of the project. And then our second objective is to implement and pilot a program that's going to be adapting the Canadian Swim to Survive standard and curriculum. We're going to integrate Great Lakes water safety education, and we're going to do that work in partnership with a black owned business in Evanston, um, and that is Eastside Water Polo. And so the goal there is to really see what we can do to be promoting aquatic skill acquisition and interest in aquatic sports among black and brown youth. So for objective one, our key deliverables are kind of anchored on the lifeguard shortage that occurred over this last summer coming off of a pandemic. And so the um, water safety trainings were held in late May and throughout the month of June on the Chicago beaches. And advertising of that was a little bit delayed because they were trying to find staff. And our ability to communicate and get interest in that was limited, as you can see by the attendance numbers, ranging from a low of zero across many of those trainings and a high of 10. And part of this project is really trying to figure out how we can reach the community. So what's happened over the last month is tying parent um, meetings for their swim team programming in the park district to some trainings. And we're going to be distributing surveys to assess knowledge. And I think that this year we're really going to have the most information about baseline knowledge and then use that to refine the offerings for this coming summer. In addition to that, we're going to be hosting a survey that has eight items on it, and that's gonna be distributed to more than 1,000 families who are in households throughout all 77 Chicago neighborhoods. And that's gonna allow us to look to see if there are areas where there are different patterns of utilization of the lakefront, um, risk-taking behaviors, and swim skills. And then the other activities that we're doing are out in Evanston. And so we were at a training over the weekend on Saturday and they're using water polo as a way to really introduce kids to the water and get them comfortable with the water. So you've got a bunch of water polo balls there. And then the other picture is kids doing streamlines off the wall. We're going to be conducting focus groups with aquatic sports leaders to understand where they see their role in bringing black and brown families into the sports, doing a session with parents and also youth of color. And then we're going to implement and pilot this program and see what skills can be acquired and then make modifications from it and then work with the folks in the Chicago Park District to see if we can adapt the program to a broader community. So some of the things that we've been doing and are going to be emphasizing as next steps are looking at a social marketing campaign that we've been able to map out with one of our partners on this grant. And we've got some real estate on the internet with the chicagowatersafety.org. There's potential for a life ring PSA with Chicago Park District. We're going to be fielding surveys, collecting data, and looking to distressed swimmer events, emergency department visits for um, data analysis. We're gonna work on refining the training and piloting the water safety program. And I think I'm under five minutes with that. Yeah.